All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement boundaries in your game that your sprites cannot cross. So, let's begin. All right, so as you see here, I've just done the basics. So I've imported Pygame and I've set our screen so screen equals pygame.display.set underscore mode and I've passed in a tuple and this is the dimensions of our screen so 500 pixels by 500 pixels and these are a bunch of variables I'm going to need to create a rectangle but this is basically the x and the y position so actually and I'm going to change this to 450 I don't know why I made it 500 but yeah I'll explain this later but basically this is the x and the y so this is where this this is where our rectangle is going to be located on our pi game window and this is the width and the height so this will be the width and the height of our rectangle and over here i've made our main game loop so i've set a boolean variable which i've called running and i've set that to true and while running for event in pi game dot event dot get if the events type is pygame.quit, and we set running to false. And now here is where we uh, start off. So first, we're going to need to implement uh, something that allows us to move our character. So we're going to need to just set um, arrow keys and whatnot for the character to move. So I'm going to create an array, which I'll call keys, and I'll set this equal to pygame.key dot get underscore pressed and put a parentheses there and now over here let me do if keys um pi game dot k underscore left all right so basically what this does is it checks to see in this keys array in this keys list so it just gets the status of all the keys and it sees if they're pressed and if it's pressed it registers as, as true and if it's not pressed it registers as false so basically if this is true so if the left arrow key um if it is being pressed then let's do x minus equals uh five so basically for, for whatever thing we press, it's just going to move 5 pixels. So if the left key is pressed, let's make this 5. And actually, let me create a variable up here. I'll just call this velocity, and I'll make this 5. So we'll set x minus equals velocity. And the reason I made this a variable was because in case we need to make it, you know, 6 or something, we don't have to change all four instances. All right, so now let's, you know, continue. So if keys um, pi game dot k underscore right, and this should be all caps, k underscore right and k underscore left. Yeah, so, so now if the right key is getting pressed, x plus equals velocity so x moves right um by velocity pixel so five pixels and now let's do up and down so if keys um pi game dot k underscore up so if the up key is being pressed let's do y let's do y minus equals velocity and basically it just decreases the y and so the top left of our pi game window is zero zero and that's the reason we're decreasing because the more the y increases the more the image goes or whatever goes down so that's why we need to do it um you know flip-flopped so now let's do bottom if keys um, parentheses pi game dot k underscore down. So now if this, if the down arrow key is being pressed, y plus equals 
velocity. So, so we've set up our moving system. So now let's make our rectangle. But before we do that, let's f let's fill our um, screen, and we do this so that our images don't draw over each other. So screen dot fill, and you know I'll pass in a tuple, and I'll just say two fifty five, two fifty five, and two fifty five, which is R G B for white. So the screen's background is gonna be white, and this fills our screen. So it makes the screen's background white. And now let's create a rectangle. So I'm gonna do pygame dot draw dot rect. And here we first pass in what we're gonna draw our rectangle on. So screen, we pass in our screen's name. And now we pass in the color of our rectangle. So let's just do a tuple with RGB values. So let's say we wanna make this a green um, a green square. So let's say zero comma two fifty five and zero, and RGB stands for red, green, blue, and so two fifty five is max and zero is the minimum. So if it's zero, it means that that thing isn't going to be expressed, but if it's two fifty five, it means that's going to be expressed all the way to the max, and anything in the middle is just you know, its degree of expressiveness, I guess, is determined by how close it is to either 255 or 0. All right, so we've passed in the color, and now let's pass in x, y, width, and height. So basically, it puts our it puts our um, rectangle at 50, 40, and it makes the width, height, it, no, it makes the width and the height both 30. All right, and now below this, let's just do pi game dot display dot update, and outside of the while loop, let's just do pi game dot quit. So let's run this. All right, so you see here we have our pi game window, and um, we can move this, and I think I might have. Um, messed up something because this is moving pretty fast I would say so let me just go fix this but besides that you can see um, our it's working pretty well and now we have to fix the fact that it can go um, uh, you know it can cross our boundaries so let's let's work on that all right and the thing is the reason it was moving so fast was because there was no delay like as long as I held it down it just kept on going and the velocity of 5 was too much for that so let's just reduce this to something a lot lower so 0 0.5 and the thing was since we didn't have any FPS in this game um, it wasn't regulated so it would just go how however fast it wanted so we fixed that so now let's add in our boundaries. We could add more if statements, but we could also use and and or. So over here in this, in the if statement, I'm gonna do if keys pi game key, k dot left, and I'm gonna do and x is greater than velocity. So basically what this checks to see is if the x value of our rectangle and that just checks to see if that is greater than our velocity. And if it's not, it just stops our square from crossing. And now over here in the right, so in the next if statement, let me do and. Now let's do x is less than 500 minus the width minus the velocity. And so the... And the reason why it's like this is because it's 500, that's the, you know, that's the width of our screen. And it's minus the width, so it's, so it's never going to cross it. And minus the velocity just gives it some um, padding, I guess you could say. And now over here in keys um, k dot up, all we have to do is and y is greater than velocity. 
So if the y is greater than velocity, then um, our square can move up. And finally, in our last if statement, let's do and y is less than 500 minus height minus, oh shoot, that's an equal sign. So 500 minus height minus vel velocity minus velocity. So this is the same reason as this one. It just checks to see 500 and this is so that it's never gonna cross that and minus velocity just gives it some extra padding. Okay, so now let's try running this. And you see, it's still moving, but now it has the borders. You see, it can't cross that. It can't cross that. It can't cross the borders. So now this prevents our square from crossing the screen. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something about boundaries and borders in this tutorial. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.